Sarah has some rise before the initial and then will. national anthem of Poland. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome live from Limerick, Ireland. This is LAC Sports Network coverage of the 2022 World Lacrosse Men's U21 World Championships here on LACSportsNetwork.com. My name is Wyatt Wells, and this afternoon's matchup comes from Group D featuring Poland and Wales. 
both teams having success here in Ireland so far, with Wales starting off hot with four wins and only one loss. And on the other side, Poland has held their own, sitting in 3-3 three three overall. This game does have stakes to it as the winner faces Latvia in Friday's first game of the day. So that'll be tomorrow. I will be on the call for that as well here. And the loser will face Uganda in the third game tomorrow for 21st place. Poland and Wales, the opening face-off about to begin here in just a few minutes. The Poland having the edge just by one point there at 56%. And with that, our opening face-off will begin in just a few minutes. Lack Sports Network is proud to bring you over 60 games from this world championship. Still to come later on today, we have Germany versus Ireland and Czech Republic versus Puerto Rico. We will have Poland and Wales momentarily. As we're just getting ready to get started here, the key player for Wales that you just saw up on the screen, Aaron Eastwood, the number three scorer in this tournament, currently has 17 goals so far after nine days and sitting at 40% for the day. Wales will be in the all black units with the white helmets, while Poland will be in the all white. And if you've been watching, you know the rules. We got 15 minute quarters, four of them at that. And the winner will move on to face Latvia tomorrow. Both teams pretty evenly matched here. Wales number one in group D play at four and O, sitting at four and one overall. Their last game uh, lost to Sweden, nine to 13. As for Poland, they've sit at two and two in group play that's good for third right behind china yesterday they took a loss as well from hong kong china the both teams looking to get back in the win column and we should have a fantastic matchup henry green Logan will face off for Wales. And Jared Heller, the midfielder from Haverford College, will face off for Poland. Heller has 11 goals so far in the tournament. He's one of the team leaders. And as we get started, a quick whistle. That'll go off Wales. And Poland will have first possession. So Jared Heller will start it up at the top. Christoph Smigel 
works his way down to the middle. And Heller will look to dodge, feed his man in the middle, spin move, and just absolutely harassed by a sea of black. And that'll be taken away, picked up by 23, Jack Brooks. Well, it's Wales offense first chance at it. And the pass corralled in, the first shot of the game, and that one was a long one, taken by Oliver Hill. Oliver Hill thought he had plenty of space there. Just wasn't able to get enough power on that. So coming out for Poland will be Ryan Prelinski, the goalie from Chicago, Illinois. Prelinski, 53% on the, on the tournament, 28 saves, 25 goals allowed. And Poland having issues there on the clear, and that'll be a turnover. Oscar Meller. Now Wales will work it down behind X. Shot. No good, but backed up by Wales. Taken by Aaron Eastwood. You don't want him taking the ball. It's the leading scorer here for this Wales offense. Quick passes, trying to catch the defense off guard and out of spot. Another deep shot there. This time it's saved. And they'll give it back to Polinski. Polinski in trouble. Had to get that pass off quickly and will fall into the stick of Aaron Eastwood. Eastwood, shot. That one's no good. Polinski with a, another save as he drops to his knees. Maybe want to see one more feed there. But when you are the team's leading scorer, might as well take a shot and see how the goalie's feeling. This is the Men's U21 World Championship from the University of Limerick here in Ireland. Fantastic afternoon for some lacrosse. Not too sunny, not too hot. A nice breeze going. Still 0-0, zero, zero. only a couple of shots taken by Wales, none by Poland yet. This is just their second chance here on offense. Short stick matchup here. I'm going to try to take advantage of it as Cameron Probert. My apologies, actually, Christopher Crapanzo. Heller gets the pass in. After knifing through the defense, Poland strikes first. Jan Smeagol, his sixth goal of the tournament. And you just see here, after the pass from Heller, the fake shot, nice little dodge to get past two defenders and unable to stop that Will McDonald, goalie out of Manchester. So Polska starts first, one nothing. Face off. One by Green Login. Trying to get quick there. Good deep transition defense. Back. 
Poland comes into this game ranked 13th out of all the teams here with 49 goals. Taking 130 shots with 28 of them being on target so far coming in. Wales, on the other hand, not too far behind. Only 44 goals so far. Good for about 33%. And with that first goal, Poland has now crossed over the 50 goal mark for this championship series. Turnover here. Let's see if the White can get it back. And we'll get a push oh, back to White. Lache, Prusik, three goals so far. Feeds inside, can't get it to his man, so they'll kick the ball back out. Fight for the ground ball. Physical down there, trying to pick up the loose ball. And looks like we'll get a loose ball push on Poland. Oscar Miller will bring it up for Wales. Now these two teams played each other on Sunday. That was a 12-4 victory for Wales. See if we can get a similar matchup today on the scoreboard or Poland makes it a little closer this time around. Fed the X. Cole again. And that was a shot there by Eastwood. Aaron Eastwood with another miss. He's taken a couple of shots today. Want to make sure you don't get the goalie too comfortable, though. With Kalinsky. Good enough. Without the help. Couldn't get that pass to go, but saved. Long shot there and a rip. Bounces off Kralinski. And that'll be backed up by Wales. one nothing. Poland leads. Here in the first quarter. The World Lacrosse Men's U21 World Championship presented by Lack Sports Network. See, Kalinski was expecting a low shot there. As he just brings his head down. Eastwood. Coming off a screen there. He likes that top right corner. We'll see if Kalinski will pick up on that trend. Miller gives it to Chambers. You can hear the coaching staff for Wales tell them to set up a play. Moving the ball around. Defense keeping the formation, not really getting out of sync. And that pass will remain with Wales. Rusiek. And a good attempt there by Polinski. Try to get it back to Poland, but they had two men back there for Wales. Doesn't matter though, is this one? We had turnovers, we couldn't get that pass through. So a turnover there. A po or, uh, sorry, turnover by Wales. Dan Smeagol 
We already started off with one goal today. Carry it up. Shot. Just passed. Grodowski took it behind X and brought it back up top to Heller. Heller wants to set up a potential ISO against the short stick defender. And a fantastic job there by the defensive mid as he forces the turnover. A great display of checking and the wheels to get over midfield just like that. See if Wales looks to push the tempo here. He's got 15 on the left side here, the bottom of your screen. Hill up top takes it down. Braddock, he's got 11 goals. Second leading scorer. Three minutes to go here in the first. And a shot and a goal there by Wales to tie this one up 1 1. A nice little hitch move there. Again, getting past the defense, and that will be Owen Braddock. His 12th goal. So Braddock gets the points on the board for Wales. And with less than three minutes to go here in the first. Another win by Wales on the faceoff X. Two minutes remaining here in the first. Wales has been able to win the face-off matchup so far. And has been able to dictate more time on offense. Polinski, number one, sitting in goal for Poland. Eastwood thought about it. And Chambers will put it back up top. Meller, Eastwood again, that's his favorite spot. We've seen that play a couple of times, but again, the same result as Eastwood has not been able to find the back of the net today. And we got a dangerous scrum up in the middle, that ball flying backwards. A couple inches to the right, and that could have been in. And we'll see who still has possession. It's Wales. Keeps the ball. Can they catch the defense lacking? No. Can't come up with it. Turnover there by number six, Yuri Siek. About 40 seconds left here in the first. 1-1. One, one. Tie game here. Poland versus Wales in the Group D matchup. Twenty seconds. Five seconds. Poland's got to get a shot off. I don't think he sees it. And too little, too late. He had the space, did not have the angle, and just got that pass off. Second, too late. We've got a defensive battle here in Limerick Island. One-one, Poland. Wales tied here. We'll be back in just a few moments here on the Lack Sports Network.
and welcome back to the 2022 World Lacrosse Men's U21 Championship here live from the University of Limerick in Limerick, Ireland. My name is Wyatt Wells, and thank you for watching Lax Sports Network here on LaxSN.com. 1-1 one, one is your score after one. Poland started things out first. Scoring after a goal by Jan Smigel. Wales responded towards the end of the first by a goal by Owen Wayne Braddock. Faceoffs have been dominated mostly here by Wales so far. We'll see if Poland can turn that around and get some more possession time. And the second quarter has begun. And this time it is won by Poland. The Wings take it. Give credit there to Jacob Piotrowski. Midfield. Piotrowski there took it up and was able to pick up the ground ball to get Poland first possession. You see him hustle off the field to get their offensive lineup in. If you're just joining us, this is a Group D matchup, Wales versus Poland. Wales, 4-1 overall so far after nine days in Ireland. Poland ranked third in Group D, 3-3 three and three overall. This game does have stakes to it. The winner will face Latvia in tomorrow's first game of the day. I'll be on the call for that as well, while the loser will face Uganda in the third game tomorrow in a battle for 21st place. It is Thursday. However, last Sunday, these two teams did meet. A win for Wales, 12 to four. And so far we've seen a lot lower scoring and more defense from that first initial game. Wales moving around, has a matchup he likes. Thought the angle was good, but a good job there by the defense to set that up. Number nine, Patrick Hogan. Was able to get in there with his stick. So Ryan Prelinski, college at Weber International, will throw it up here and set up the clear. Jared Heller. team's leading scorer for Poland. And the Polish offense spread out, really trying to open up this Wales defense, maybe find some cutting lanes for an easy feed. Dodge there by Smeagol. Smeagol buries it. What a beautiful shot off the top pipe. And that goes in from distance. And just as he started things off for us today, he starts things off in the second quarter as well. His second goal of the day. Beautiful wind up just below that top pipe. It makes it hard for any goalie to see which direction you're going to go. Are you going to go offside? Or are you going to go low side? And that went inside for one. Two, not two, one here in Poland. Leads. And back to the old ways here. As Wales takes a quick shot. That will be no good, but when you have a backup there, might as well use it. Try to catch Polinski off guard. And really hear the wind whipping up. We'll see if that can affect any passes. Shot up top, good angle. A low bouncer, still up in the air. And picked up by the defense. 
number 52, Samuel Zigotowski. A great shot there by Oscar Miller. A time room. And normally those bouncers are hard to stop. It's just slightly inaccurate there. And they're just going to throw this one away. Picking it up is Christoph Schmiegel. So we got a pair of brothers. I guess a single pair of brothers. And the Smeagles. One of them with two goals today. It's Brother John. And Pusik, thought about setting the pick, but they're going to just go with the ISO. Double team. I recover by the defense. Good job there to kind of get them out of rhythm. Another shorty on shorty matchup. And that time, one there by the defense, Will McDonald, I believe. No, my apologies. McDonald is in goal currently. And McDonald picks that one up. And he'll dump it off to his defense down low. 8.57. Go here in this second quarter before halftime. 2-1 Poland leads. Trying to find an open man here on the clear. Poland riding pretty heavily. Gotta get it across. Chambers brings it in. Fifty-one goals on the year for Pol or on the, uh, I'm sorry. After day nine for Poland, forty-five for Wales. Wales shooting at about thirty-three percent. They need some help as their number three scorer, and when I say number three, I mean the entire tournament. Aaron Eastwood has yet to. Get one going today. A nice pass there. Chambers was able to find the open man in Meller. But Meller just a little too wide on the run. Trying to find a backdoor cut. And Frelinski sniffed it out, was able to deny it. Great recognition there by number 52, Samuel Zubatowski for the Polish. And looks like we have our first big penalty of the day. Oh no, forget about a penalty. He put Prelinski on the dirt and tied this game up at two. Goal there by Braddock. So, again, tied at two apiece. Both teams, a single player, are the engine for their offenses this afternoon. A beautiful Thursday for some lacrosse. 
Elaine Braddock, a midfielder from Wales, has two goals, while Jan Smeagel for Poland has their two. Heller, put down on the ground. A great check there by Oscar Sykes. And we're going to get a timeout by Poland with 5.27 to go here before halftime. So coach wants to talk it over. Poland makes their first timeout of the half. Notice a lot of shots from deep here so far in this Group D matchup. Some of them have been on target, like this beautiful shot there by Smeagol. And we'll see. We'll get some more fireworks before halftime. Both teams pretty similar so far. Again, we talked earlier at the beginning, but if you're just joining us, Poland, in terms of shots, is ranked 13th here coming into this championship series. 130 shots with 28 on goal. It's good for about 38% coming into the game. And Wales right in front of them at 12. 135 shots with 30 being on goal for 33%. Jared Heller for Poland. One of the top scorers in this tournament as well. And same for faceoffs. I mean, you see here, rank number six, Poland coming in there with a 56% win percentage but it's been wales who's uh right behind them at number seven who's dominated so far today at 55 percent and after both teams talked it over we're ready to get started again Highly contested, very tight game here so far. After about one and a half of play. Blache Prosek. One on one right now with a short stick midi. Fighting him is Joe Cole. Joe Cole. Cole trying to push him out. And coach is saying we need to move the ball around. And this looks like a matchup they like. Christoph Schmiegel on the short stick. Trying to show some speed. He's got plenty of space. Found a man inside. He had... Watch it for a sec. They're right on the doorstep in the quick turnaround, unable to get that in. 4.20 to go here before halftime. The 2022 World Lacrosse Men's U21 Championship Series. And a behind block. A fantastic check by Wales. And he didn't even see that one coming. And now we'll get a timeout by Wales as they want to talk it over. 355 to go. No. Clock is slightly fast on my end, so 420 to go here and a half. Wales using their timeout to talk things over right after Poland. Want to discuss their strategy? Smeagol spared it so far for the Polska. Braddock has kept Wales in this though, answering each time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Look at that fantastic trail check. Number 19 of Wales, Joshua Tate, able to force that turnover. It gave Poland or gave Wales the opportunity on offense here. Live from Limerick Island here at the University of Limerick. Right near the new Shannon River. Or near the Shannon River, I might say. We'll see who will be floating down the, the river. Happy coming in the halftime and who's going to need to try to readjust their raft. Both teams, though, in a great position. Last time these two played, a 12-4 win for Wales. This one a lot more, a lot more contested. And a turnover there. Couldn't get that pass in. James Chambers. Brian Plinsky. Three minutes remaining here before the half. No one really challenged Polinski until then, so he's going to dump it off quickly to Christoph Smeagol. And a yard sale. A little late in the afternoon to have those be going on, but... Wales decided they wanted to open one up. Shot. And I don't know if Kralinski just swallowed it. Oh, right through his helmet. And that's why you have a neck guard there. So Kralinski just kind of takes that shot to the chest. Two minutes left here before the half. Tied at two apiece. Polinski looking upfield and throws it way towards the sideline to his defender, Patrick Hogan. And Hogan, not liking what he's seeing, so brought it back. Polinski, they need to get it over. Don't want a failure to advance. Just about a minute 20. All right, and a second timeout by Poland with 1.19 to go here in the second. Just before half, they want to draw up a play that hopefully breaks this tie. We've had some great lacrosse so far in the first 15 minutes. Had another fantastic 15 so far. We'll see what the last 119 has in store.
Jared Heller will start off for the offense here with about 1.15 to go. We'll see what Poland decides to do if they want to push it up quickly and try to score or, or hold it for the final whistle. Just a minute to go. All behind X. Called for by Heller. Trying to work it around. Cut. And bounces off. Backed up, though, by Poland. We'll see if they can get it in with about 30 seconds. Balls behind X. Two defenders trying to cut him off. Screen. Fighting. Shot. Saved. McDonald. Throws this one over. Beautiful pass. And I thought I heard a whistle for timeout, but we'll see. Beautiful pass by McDonald to get it to James Chambers. And Wales will take their last time out of the half with 10 seconds left to go. So Wales trying to try to draw something up. Poland looked to try to work around X and maybe get around the outside with the help of Screener. We'll see what Wales strategy will be. Tied up at two, 10 seconds left before the half. This is the World Lacrosse Men's U21 World Championship, live from Limerick, Ireland. Brought to you by the LAC Sports Network at lsn.com. Ten seconds to go. Wales trying to break this tie. Not a good start when you want a loose ball. Five. Four. Goes up. And absolute no angle on that shot. Polinski just able to put his stick up and ricochet that one out of bounds. What a fantastic half of lacrosse. Wales and Poland all tied up at two as we head into halftime. And we'll see what the next half has in store. Hopefully it's just as good as the first. But that is the end of the half. All tied up at two. You're watching the 2022 World Lacrosse Men's U21 World Championships live from the University of Limerick, Ireland on LaxSN.com. We'll be back after this.
and welcome back to the 2022 World Lacrosse Men's U21 Championship Series. This is the start of the second half between Poland and Wales. The Group D matchup. And a fantastic game at that. A defensive slugfest tied up at two apiece. Wales are start off here on offense. They had possession the last 10 seconds, but could not get it in to break the tie. We'll see if they can do it though in this opening possession. We'll talk about the road so far for Wales. They started their journey here in Ireland on Thursday, last Thursday versus Kenya in a one nothing win. They then took on Chinese Taipei on Friday in a 12-4 victory. Took on China the next day and won 10 to 6. And then in the matchup that we are seeing right now on Sunday, last Sunday that was against Poland, they won 12 to 4. And it wasn't until yesterday against Sweden that Wales suffered their first loss in Ireland, a 13 to 9 loss. Wales here, if you're just joining us. A great dodge there by Eastwood. Eastwood coming into this game was Wales' leading scorer with 17 goals. It was ranked number three in the series of all, out of all players in goals scored. Has not been able to get on the board today, though. Both of their goals for Wales have come from Owen Braddock. His 12th and 13th after day nine. Eastwood cuts inside. Balls up top. Plenty of time and you can't get a better angle than that. Cameron Probert. Probert with one today to give Wales their first lead of the game. Strikes first in the opening half. They're hoped to open up the second half. And it looks like they'll take the possession again. Picked up ground ball by Joe Cole. And Cole, using the speed, brings it down. Unable, though, to get the pass accurately. A nice shot there by Cameron Probert. And it keeps possession for Wales. Balls up top. Now down behind X. Let's see if Owen Braddock looks to take another shot attempt. And instead, Wales is working it around. A nice shot there by Braddock. A low bouncer, but was able to be saved by Ryan Polinski. Great shot attempt there, as the ball is still on the ground. Fighting for the loose ball, Poland has it. Loses it again. And after a couple of hits, we'll get back into the ball in the hands of White. Polska, the words written on the front of their jerseys, all white units with the red lettering. Wales is in the all black with the white letters. And 
And with Poland on offense, we'll see their road so far. They started their journey here in Ireland on Friday versus China, an 8-9 to nine loss. And then it got back to work against Kenya, 17-2 to two in a win. Followed that by the 4-12 to 12 loss against Wales, a team who they hope to beat. And a nice save there by McDonald. McDonald, though, couldn't get the pass to a streaking midi, but somehow still came up with it. Loses his glove in the process, but picked up by the defense. Number 19, Joshua Tate. And Tate will go back over to allow his midi to get back on sides. So after the defeat to Wales on Monday, they faced the one against Chinese Taipei in a fourth fit win due to COVID issues. Tuesday, they played Uganda in a 13-3 decisive victory. And yesterday, a matchup with Hong Kong, China in a close 6-7 loss. And Wales now back on offense. Wants to add on to their lead. Chambers throws it back up top. Eastwood, who's been quiet today, gets the pass again. And the defense set up in a 3-3. Shot. Deflected and into the stick of Prelinski. Good defensive series there for Poland. Berlinski nearly attacked there on the clear, but is able to get across midfield and into the hands of number 20. He's got room. Had space. Instead, they will just dish it inside. Watch a Prusek. Quick little swim move. Tries to work the angle. Likes what he sees. Takes the shot. And that one will bounce off the pipe. No, not the pipe. Will bounce into the stick of McDonald. Trying to use his man as a screen. Couldn't get it through, though. McDonald down. 13th in the league so far. 29 saves, 25 goals allowed coming in. Good for about 54%. Moving the ball around again is Wales. Defense remaining in that 3-3 stack formation. I like that angle. And finally, Aaron Eastwood gets on the board. Eastwood just came around that corner of backside and caught the defense looking. He was ball watching there. And allowed Eastwood to just come across the corner completely untouched. And you don't want to give the number three score in the tournament an opportunity like that because he's not going to miss him often. And so now Wales will extend their lead to double dit or not to two points. After being down most of this game. Didn't take their first lead until the first couple of minutes of the second half. Poland now 
coming up in the clear, led by the defense. And now we'll slow it down. Five minutes remaining here in the third. Quick stutter step. Wales, short dick defensive mid. He's doing a great job of staying in front. Blach, Blache, Prosek, three goals so far in this tournament, dumps it off. Ron Smeagol. Back up to Prosek. Nagel takes out the ground ball. See if he can take on the long pole. Drops it behind X. And a nice jump shot there. Jared Heller. Welcome to the party, Jared. As he brings Poland back within one. Quick spin move, elevate. And that's a hard shot to get off, especially against a long stick. About 3.20 to go here in the third. Wales, after scoring a couple, Poland answers back. Ball at the top. Defense trying to pick that one out of the air. Instead makes it safely back into black. And the defense making sure to really cover up that bottom left side. Two minutes remaining. A nice feed, an even better finish. Goal there by number 17, Eastwood. And he's starting to get it going. Eastwood's 19th goal of the series so far. And a fantastic feed there by Cameron Probert. And Eastwood now finding some success. They're in that bottom left side. Just as I was saying, the defense is trying to tamp that area down. A win by Poland, though. Jared Heller will win the faceoff just as he got the last goal. 5-3, <laughs> your score here with just a little bit Less than a minute to play here in the third. Trying to run all the way down that right side. Defense in lockstep with him. And Poland will kick it back up top. Another shot there. That went high and wide right into the hands of McDonald. Ooh, the speed. And Pr Prolinsky just snatches it out of the air. 
this is an example of the fastest sport on two feet, ladies and gentlemen. A quick transition back and forth. As it looked like Wales had a solid opportunity to get quick transition goal, but Ryan Perlinski, the goalie from Chicago, Illinois, just plucks that out, says, I'll take it. Run up the field a little bit. Make sure to keep things going. Two score game here, Wales five, Poland three here on the Lack Sports Network. And welcome to the fourth and final quarter here in Limerick, Ireland. It's been a fantastic matchup so far between Poland and Wales. Poland had this lead for most of the first half. Wales came back early in the second half to regain the lead and has not looked back since. 5-3, your score. And the final 15 minutes. The winner of this game will face Latvia tomorrow in the first game of the day. I'll be on that call as well. And the loser will face Uganda in the third game in a battle for 21st place. Both of these teams looking to move higher up the standings. Wales only lost once. And that was yesterday to Sweden, a 9-13 to loss. Other than that, they've been undefeated so far here in Ireland. Poland, after day nine here in Ireland, sitting at just about 500. Two and two in group play, three and three overall. Yesterday they lost to Hong Kong, China in a very close six to seven defeat. Deep shot there by Wales, just to you know, see what's gonna stick, maybe catch uh, Polinski off guard. And that'll go into the hands of Polska. Poland in the white units. All white with the white tops, red lettering. Wales, you can see in the black units with the white lettering. Coverage has been brought to you by the Lax Sports Network. You can follow all the games, over 60 that we've been broadcasting here and for the rest of the tournament. 
on lsnsn.com. Christoph Smeagol, brother of John Smeagol, takes it behind X, the short stick matchup. And he take advantage. A nice pass there up top, but will fall into the hands of, let's see, ground ball is still being fought for. Who wants it? Loose ball push. And it's going to go. Possession will be Poland. Yeah, right there you see the push. See, he kind of brought his man, hit him to the ground. Patrick Wosick. Matched up on another shorty. Not a lot of help on the defensive side in this one. It's a two shorty matchup. And that'll be enough though for Wales as they are able to force the ball out. Still controlled by Poland, however. 11.34 to go here in this fourth and final quarter. Bad pass there, just a little bit too close and easily picked up by Will McDonald, the goalie from Manchester. And McDonald will pass it down, and they'll look to clear it. Poland just kind of sitting back and letting the defense find passing lane instead of trying to force the pressure on him. A nice pass there by McDonald. Get in the middle, but it is Aaron as Eastwood could not control it. Eastwood was a little slow to start off the game, but heated up after two goals in the third. And two goals is the difference. 5-3, your score. Group D matchup. And we'll get a timeout by Poland. So their first timeout in the second. They'll have one more remaining. 10-15 to go here in the fourth. the timeout Poland with a shot this time though backed up by Wales as they'll win the battle great hustle play there two score lead is nothing in this game as teams can 
tack on points just like that. However, the trends for this game have been a little less high speed and more settled. Offense just slowing it down. Got time on their side. You don't really need to force anything. Just taking the passes, see what gets available. Shot there, no good. Backed up by James Chambers. Chambers dishes off quickly behind the back shot. And I know Polinski probably wasn't expecting that. Sales just right of the cage. Time, room. But nothing there. Chambers backs it up again. Sets it up. Maximilian. Shafuel, number nine, and a fight for the ground ball. I believe Black called timeouts. Day possession. Seven forty seven left in this fourth quarter as Wales will take their first timeout. That one mostly a possession saving timeout there as they had the ball in their stick just briefly. A smart move there by the coaching staff. Poland down by two. top corner of your screen here. Chambers will take it. Chambers being chased down by two long poles. Running for his life, basically, because you know that they're going to hit hard. Coming down to the wire, 720 to go here. They want to... They want you to feel it. And Chambers just extending his arm, allowing it to take the brunt of the shaft. Interesting, interesting matchup here as the goalie is out. We see no goalie. There we go. Polinski gets in there and picks that one up himself and decides to take it out of the cage. Finds the man in the middle. Fantastic shot there. I mean, a fantastic pass by Patrick Wosik. And Wosik leads the man to get drilled. Angle, trying to spin around inside. 
And a good job there by Oscar Sykes on the defense to force his man in the crease. Not to find a good angle. So he did have a man there on the doorstep. But an easy finish. And that ball is going to roll out of bounds. And we'll go, we'll find out. Eastwood there on the replay. We'll see a nice turnaround shot. Olska down by two. 5.53 to go here in the fourth and final quarter of this Group D matchup. Wales looking to move on. Five and one overall. Well, Poland wants to finally get into the win winner's column and make this a 4-3 record. That shot a little high. Jan Smeagol, who had the first two goals of the game, gets back in the action. Poland not really playing with a sense of urgency here. Down by two with about five minutes to go. Matched up on the long stick. And for as ugly as that shot looked, it had pretty accurate trajectory. And we are officially at the five minute mark. Now in the fourth quarter, we will move to stop time in the final two minutes. Ball lost by Poland, turnover picked up by the defense. Oh, tough collision there, but able to get through it. Thought he passed the ball off, but lost it. Instead, goes right back to Wales. Take down me and the cameraman for a moment there. And we've got a timeout by Wales. Now, folks, I know it is a little late here to maybe make this adjustment, but on my screen, while I see the colors is all black, it is quite possible, because I've heard the ref several times say timeout green, that we've got some green or maybe some dark green units there. However, just based on the viewing quality and the color saturation at this time, we're going to stick with the all black. Cloudy skies and a decent wind pickup is our weather report here for these final few minutes here in Limerick, Ireland at the University of Limerick. Nail in the coffin here. Or will Poland rise up defensively and give their team a shot to face you or to face Latvia tomorrow? Defender Eastwood just physically gets past his man and buries it in for a hat trick. And just as we talked about at the beginning of the quarter, or hell, the beginning of the game for that matter, Aaron Eastwood, the number three scorer, has gotten his 20th goal of the championship series.
3.30 left in the game. Wales up by three. Aaron Eastwood. After starting out slow with a couple of misses, heated up in the third and really put the boil on here right at the end of the fourth. Three minutes remaining in this game. 6-3. Poland trails by three. They need a quick shot and a goal. And there you go. That'll do it. Jared Heller with his second. That's exactly what Poland needed. Six four now. Two twenty left in this game. Heller is going to be a huge factor here on these face-offs if they want a chance to come back. Harry Green Longen, though, wants to keep that going Wales' way. It doesn't. Poland has it again. And Heller is sandwiched. And the clock runs. In the middle! And would you look at that! We are down by one. Guache. Guache Prosek with his first goal of the game, and that's a very big one. 6 5, Wales. So after a pretty, pretty good amount of time in between goals for most of the game, we've got a rapid fire action here in the final minute. Heller looking to win another face-off. This time, no. Harry Green Longen says, we're going to end this. Not yet, though. As that ball will sail out. Again, really deep shots they're taking here. I'd like to maybe see him trying to move up a little bit closer. Chambers gives it to Eastwood. Eastwood kind of flows his way back through the defense. Right now, Owain Braddock, who started this game off for uh, Wales with their first two goals, looks to put the punctuation point in. Braddock with a hat trick. 7-5. Wales. We've got 105 to go. Elaine Braddock. This one won again by Harry Green Longen. That one was a huge face-off victory and will most likely seal this one for Wales. Heller did his best in that final stretch to get them within striking distance. Was unable to win those final two face-offs and now we'll have Wales just kind of sit on it. Let time run out. Let's see if Eastwood wants to get another shot off, make this four goals. Nope, instead, Chambers would get it, but whistles blow before he can get it in.
And now with the double team, Chambers will just look to try to run this out. And Wales will give Poland a final opportunity. And that's the three whistles. Our final score in this Group D matchup, seven to five. Wales will move on to face Latvia tomorrow in the first game of the day. I'll be on that call as well. As for Poland, they will face Uganda in the third game tomorrow in the battle for 21st place. This was a fantastic matchup by both teams, a back and forth game with a couple of uh, extra scores there in the final two minutes. I'm glad you guys could be here for it. We want to thank everyone for participating, cameramen, the producers, everyone for helping out and for making this possible. Thank you for watching LAC Sports Network coverage of the 2022 World Lacrosse Men's U21 Championship. Once again, our final score, seven to five. A couple more games coming up later though on LSN. LAC Sports will be proud to bring you over 60 games from these world championships. And still to come later today, Germany versus Ireland and the Czech Republic versus Puerto Rico. My name is Wyatt Wells. Thank you from Latvia or from Limerick, Ireland. This has been the World Lacrosse Championships. Thank you.